What's up everybody, Dre back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. Today we're going to be talking about some updates that were added to the Supporter Edition NDA Discord. For the longest time we weren't able to actually talk about these, I'm not really sure why, but they decided to let us talk about them as of today. Now unfortunately, these updates were not playable updates, these were just updates of things to come. So we've been basically sitting here doing nothing as these updates roll in. So I just want to keep that in mind before we go into this. So we're going to start with the first newsletter and go backwards. I'm going to start with community feedback and changes. While our main focus of development is set on the single player and co-op content of Ready or Not, we have also been actively listening to and reviewing player feedback received since the release of our latest PvP update, which was a very long time ago at this point. As such, we have been working on fixing bugs and issues, balancing gameplay, and bringing new content to the alpha. Well, I'm not sure which alpha they're referring to because the alpha that I'm playing has not received any updates, but you know, it's whatever. Moving on. And then they go on to talk about some of the feedback that we've had which says here new customization screen is difficult to navigate yeah this was a very big one during the event and you know going on today now i think about it action we continue to reiterate this concept and the first modification is to allow the players to choose which attachments they want to equip from a drop down list instead of having to scroll through all the options as shown below yes this is what i've been asking for so the way that it works now is kind of ridiculous let's be honest here i had said in previous videos that they should like keep all the cool animations but just add everything in like a box so you could scroll through such a better freaking option thank you so much for listening but honestly i would like to see it in my hand so i can test that version too but thanks you know for listening i suppose and then here's another piece of feedback gunplay is too simple and not tactical oriented enough and here's what they did they removed the dead zone automatic recentering which should improve the gunplay and incentivize more mindful aiming this will make point shooting something the player has to learn and get familiarized with instead of having crosshair constantly centered in the middle of the screen the clip below demonstrates the new system so yeah this gif right here actually shows up something that's new i think it shows that you can actually aim with like a laser now when you flip the gun onto its side seems like they took that from the insurgency sandstorm playbook because i actually saw one of the community managers talking about it so there's that that's honestly pretty cool not that many games i've seen have actually done that i really like that it's here it's great to see this kind of system in ron and i'm sure this is going to translate over to the co-op single player pretty well all right moving on then they say here reloading while ads causes players to lose target acquisition and they say here we have updated the reload animations when aiming down sight so that the player can maintain target acquisition while reloading as seen in the clip below which i'll show that off right here and yeah i think my biggest issue so far with the whole reloading thing is that i'm just not able to do all the cool features like throughout this time they haven't added a default setting so i can reset my controls so i'm stuck with the fast reloading and that's all i can do so it'd be great if they could add the you know default button so i can fix my controls but yeah that's Target acquisition is definitely going to be a lot of help. Can't wait to use it. But anyways, here's some more supportive feedback. Weapons feel random and inconsistent. And here's what they have done to try and fix that. It says, uh, we have revised all the weapons, making changes to multiple values such as damage, recoil, shake, penetration, and fire rate. All weapons have received an increase in damage, which will reduce the number of rounds it takes to down an enemy player. Bullet spread for shotguns has been widened. Okay. I'm not really sure that I had too much trouble with uh, killing people, but I guess some people did. It goes on to say new game modes to further incentivize tactical gameplay. We are adding a number of new PvP game modes with a heavy focus on strategy, use of less lethal equipment, and arresting. Do these new game modes include doors? Oh, here's some of them now. VIP escort. SWAT must escort the randomly selected player VIP to an extraction point within the level to win the round. Enemy must prevent this by intercepting, capturing, and holding the VIP hostage for a certain amount of time. If the timer runs out and SWAT has hasn't successfully freed the VIP, enemy wins the round. Here's the next one, arrest and rescue. The objective is to arrest all the members of the enemy team using less than lethal equipment while simultaneously rescuing any teammates who are arrested. The first team to arrest the entire opposing team wins the round. Team deathmatch, a version of the classic multiplayer game mode, hunt down and neutralize enemy players to score points. The first team to hit the point limit wins the round. And ready or not, however, arresting your opponent will net significantly more more points than just taking them down. King of the Hill, already in the game. A modified version of Tug of War. Opposing teams must fight for domination of a designated area within the level. Holding the area and keeping the enemies at bay will tip the score to the dominant team's favor. The first team to hold the area for a certain amount of time wins the round. Alternatively, the first team to arrest the entire enemy team will also win the round, as arrested players move very slowly and aren't able to shoot or respawn. Yeah, 
but I think my issue with this is that you can actually shoot them and then they die. Like they shouldn't be able to die when they get arrested like that. New levels and features. We were also bringing a new PVP level with doors. Oh my God. Both this new level and training will be compatible with the VIP escort, arrest and rescue, team deathmatch modes. And they say here, King of the Hill only being available for play in training. On top of that, we decided to bring back the night version of training and in-game server browser by popular request. Was that the one that was from DreamHack? Cause I actually like that one. We thank our supporters for assisting in testing our matchmaking system and continue to work on improving it. Oh, this is the one that I saw DreamHack here. Yeah, I remember this. I actually like the map. It says here that these changes will arrive on the next Steam update to PVP build <clears throat> of the game. As always, we are looking forward to hearing your comments and feedback and changes. We continue your hard work towards the beta targets and blah, 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 blah. So this is good. Don't get me wrong. But again, these aren't playable updates. Like us supporters have been sitting here for the past how long and we're still not playing this you know so i mean these updates are cool but i'd really like to actually try them out for myself you know and if i could add another thing i think like 90 percent of us are only here for like the co-op single player right sure there are a lot of people that are going to be playing the multiplayer but a majority of us are here for the co-op single player that was once featured back in swap 4 and we're hoping that ready or not can replicate that and improve upon it so i'm not entirely sure what these updates are trying to appeal to you know like a majority of the people who actually saw all the multiplayer that was featured on the channels thought that it was like a more or less worse version of insurgency sandstorm and again i think the multiplayer is probably not the best thing to represent ready or not like in my opinion they should really more show off the bread and butter which is the co-op single player but they just haven't done that at least not in a while overall i thought that this update was pretty good but again it's just you know multiplayer for the most part it's cool but it's not really what the community is here for at least the close community anyway all right so that was that let's push on to the previous one that we weren't allowed to talk about until now supposedly i'm gonna get mad at a subscriber if i have to take this video down I'll tell you what so this is the one where they actually show off a brand new well it's not really a brand new map it's a map that we've seen before or rough version of the map that i've seen but only you guys have heard of but this is it actually fully textured and it's uh the map that's known as meth and they're showing off like close images of what the front looks like and then they got the floor that's in the front they got the stairs that are in like the front of the front area and then they got the side place that's to the left of the building uh, yeah, this this looks really good compared to the map that we have in the alpha edition I just have to wonder if they're gonna add additions to it Like how different is it gonna be from the rough version that we have to the newer version that's currently displayed in this picture Because they have overhauled maps in the past So i'm curious to know if they actually did anything else with these maps Also, I kind of want to know if this is a map that's also going to be a multiplayer map or if it's just co-op Because i've only been able to play this map in a co-op version of the game or by myself against ai So yeah, this didn't really have too much. I didn't actually take a good look at it, but it's actually relatively small update I'm trying to think did they actually say anything that was important here i don't remember okay so no they, re they really didn't say anything too crazy um there was just a bunch of random things here like uh the main entrance to the suburban house looks like there's activity inside close up of the main entrance could use some sweeping a side entrance who is that a side entrance is that referring to the stairs that are going up and to the left or is it talking about the ghost right there that's painted on the wall could not really say for sure but anyways stairway located to the left of the house may lead to a potential vantage point this is actually a pretty big map as are a majority of Red Your Nuts maps, but the area that you're going into is relatively tiny, or unless they add on new additions, we'll see. Um, but unfortunately, we aren't able to actually see what it looks like fully textured, but at least I'm somewhat glad to somewhat describe it to you. It's actually a pretty cool map, but I still think it needs a lot of work, to be honest. And yeah, that was your update for Ready or Not. I've been having a whole lot of people ask me what the hell's going on with it, and this is what's going on. They've been giving us a whole lot of newsletters, but not a whole lot of updates for us to actually play. That's why there's not too many people hopping into the NDA server or, you know, the multiplayer that they keep trying to make us play. Like, they haven't actually updated that version of the multiplayer that we're able to show off, so nobody's hopping in so that i can actually get more gameplay for this you know update but yeah i'm gonna end it here if you enjoyed the fact that i cover games like ready or not be sure to share the video like the video and comment down below if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding the bell the algorithm is quite literally killing me so i'm hoping that that bell actually does something and you never know you might find something that you like on the channel give it a shot if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month it really helps and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye